Hey there, everybody. I'm CCB Dolan here with CCB Fozzy bringing you Transmission Lost versus Nully Secunda. So we have a bit of a mirror matchup here, and that both teams have bought triple Navy Scorpions, but there is a little bit of differentiation. Why don't you go ahead and tell us some more about it? Yeah, so like you said, both teams have brought the very tanky Navy Scorpions, um, but there's a different format with them. Transmission Lost has brought what we were calling the Tinker Team. This is a team that is designed to cap transfer between each other, between the battleships and their logistics ship. Um, it's less powerful than it was in previous tournaments this year because we nerfed it a little bit, but it's still good. Nully Secunda, on the other hand, has brought a more flexible but uh, lower tanking version with the Basilisk further away. That's how you can tell. The Basilisk is right in the middle of the Navy Scorpions and the Golem for Transmission Lost, but for Nully, it's pulled back, and the Navy Scorps are in a more traditional kind of the way you'd play a Vindicator. They're up front with everything else behind. Um, so I really have to go with Transmission Lost in this matchup. I don't think Nully's going to have the DPS. Now, uh, these are both uh, crew Scorpions, correct? Yes, these should, should all be They crews. should certainly be, Let unless... Let me take a double check here. But teams have made mistakes before. <laughs> Let me just assume what the missile system is on a missile ship. Uh, Pandemic yes, Legion crews. famously making a similar mistake. Uh, so we see here... The Tinker Tank already set up. You can start seeing some cap transfers here pretty soon. Oh, oh no, they haven't yet. lit them up yet. Interesting. That's a little strange. These guys, are they just faking a Tinker team? Because there's no cap transfers going now. There is an ASB running on that Basilisk. Um, but if he doesn't have cap transfers, he can't keep running the ASBs. And if these guys have brought three Navy Scorps and a Golem, and ah, there they go. Yeah, there we go. And the Nelly Secunda Basilisk is already leaking armor, and he's going to drop almost instantly to just concentrated cruise fire. There's only one cap transfer, though. I am uh, Now there's more. All right, so these battleships just were asleep for a little bit, decided not to cap transfer right away. Now they're going, and uh, now that means that Basilisk is going to be able to run his ASB all the time. Yep. Casmania is tanking pretty well, but he's going to have to reload. He's going to have to reload, and uh, the, the real opportunity here for Nelly Secunda is they have to use their Caracol advantage. They, ha they do have the advantage on both pilots mm -hmm. and, and DPS in the support wing. If their Caracols can hunt down and kill the support and then survive, if, all if their cores survive, or they can trade on cores, mm -hmm. and they can keep some Caracols alive and delete the other team's support, they win on points. Yes, but staying out of range of cruise missiles in a 125-kilometer arena. Well, staying going, staying going fast in your Caracol. Yes, but it's still, you'd have to tank forever, which is going to be really, really tough. The, what, basically, what they'll do is they'll just wear down the Basilisk. Um, that Basilisk can't survive forever if they just keep firing at him. What they are doing right now is it looks like they're trying to break a Navy Scorp. So the, the Bassie of Casmania did run away. He was very clever in the way he piloted that um, because the uh, Navy Scorps and the um, Golem for transmission lost are over towards their side of the arena. Mm -hmm. And uh, Casmania was able to pull to the other far side. So he got out of range, which meant that he can't rep, but all of his buddies have a big buffer anyways when Navy Scorps at least do. So he was fine. He reloaded his ASB, and now he's back into the fight. So if he gets shot again, he'll be at a tank again for a bit. If he keeps doing that, then he can work pretty well. But I don't think they're going to be able to break anything in that core for transmission loss. The Navy Scorps and the Golem and the Basilisk, if they can kill any of those, then they win. If they can't kill any of those, which I don't think they can, then they're not going to be able to win. Strange how the the key to winning alliance tournament matches is to kill killing enemy ships. We see an Atron going down here uh, as the Basilisk starts taking damage once again. Uh, mm -hmm. Keeping that Basilisk alive is going to be so hard without any cap transferring going on. Yes, it's going to be. Like, it's all up to Casmania's piloting. Um, he is an experienced tournament vet. Um, he is the captain of the team. I, no, wait, she's not. He's just what's he was the captain of the team last year, I think. Um, he's good. Yeah, he he, he knows his stuff. Um, but still, keeping yourself alive against four cruise missile ships is going to be very, very difficult. You have to get huge range in order to get out of their range. And then while you're gone, they can probably kill a Caracal or a Merlin. So it's going to be very, very tough. Um, Here he is. If Casmania, so Casmania is boosting right now, but if he get, he drops, the match is over. Essentially, like, nothing on Nelly Secunda can survive. They can't really break anything. And while they try to break anything, they're just going to be losing ships left yeah. and right. They have a, sh a small lead now, but it's only two points. This battle is going to set them back immensely. Yeah, Casmania is running away, and he is boosting right now. Once he stops boosting, though, which it looks like he has. It looks like he's gone on reload. Yep, I'm not seeing a boost from him. So that means he's going to drop, and uh, with him down... All these there characters we go. are going to fall Casmania apart. drops. Yeah. So this is basically just a really bad matchup for the Nelly team. Um, they brought a Scorpion team that's a bit more flexible. It could do better against if you have to move the Scorpions, if you need to run away from, say, Vindicators. Mm -hmm. um, Vindicators might be, well, they could, this could probably still do decently against them. Might be um, good against transmission, transmission loss, though. Stuff that, because these transmission loss teams can't move, really. They, they are not going to be able to move very quickly because they have to stay very close to each other. Um, but Nully just can't break them. They can't get the DPS to actually kill these ships. We talk about killing things being important, but killing the Condors and the Atron on this team is not important. <laughs> I mean, 
that doesn't really matter. This transmission loss doesn't care. The Condor Atrium backbone of the, <laughs> the transmission loss team. Now, so here's the thing. We can see this Navy Scorpion going. If there was a basilisk on field, that Navy Scorpion would never be dropping like this. They Not have immensely fast, high yeah. resists, uh, and I don't think that with a Scorpion on field they could be broken. For instance, if transmission loss was rather foolish and tried to primate down one of the Scorpions before killing the basilisk, this match could go entirely differently. Mm -hmm. But as long as that logistic stays on field, it's, m it's impossible to kill any of these big battleships. And transmission loss just has a much tankier basilisk. Yeah, I mean, the Basilisk for Transmission Lost is able to run his ASP all the time. So as we saw with Castmania, they actually probably had pretty similar fits. Castmania was able to tank while he was um, boosting, as long as his ASP was boosting. For anyone that's not familiar with the way they work, an ancillary shield booster um, boosts very hugely in your shield, gives you a lot of um, shields back when you activate it, but it uses up cap charges, and it can only have a certain number of cap charges in it. Once it runs out of them, it takes a whole minute to reload. And um, that's a problem for Casmania. It's not a problem, though, for um, the Basilisk for Transmission Loss, because he is able to just keep running thanks to the cap transfers. And there we see the first Navy Scorpion drop for Roden Lazarus on the Noli Secunda team, and that's going to be a match sealed. If they didn't have the DPS to break in any before, they certainly they don't have it now. now. They're trying the Golem, um, unless he's asleep. Um, it's not going to work. There you go. Looks like they're not asleep. Um, so he's going to be fine. And it's just really now a matter of time before Nully goes down and uh, into the elimination bracket, joining their rivals, Razor and Goonswarm. Yeah, exactly. So not a full coalition sweep for either side. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're uh, actually going to be facing... Is, no, no, they're not going to be facing Razor. That would have been amusing. Um, but no, they're going to face the loser of Exiled Ones in Exodus. Yep. And that's going to be another really nice match. Yes. I, You have to favor Exodus in the coming match, but... Exiled Ones is not a shabby team. No, I mean, they have uh, they were very impressive yesterday. Uh, not a lot of tournament experience under that name. I'm not sure how their pilots have done before, if they've been part of other teams, but uh, I'm still looking forward to seeing what they can what? bring out. What that is going on? That golem is dropping. What is going on? He's getting reps. What in the world? Break that golem. Do it. No, you're going to lose your Navy Scorpion you before you break it. You know what may have happened? So um, this is something that we actually have seen in previous tournaments. Oh! No! Go oh. shoot more! Shoot Whoa. more bullets! <laughs> Overheat everything! Golden structure! We have a Navy come Scorpion on, and come a Golden structure. On. Whichever one goes to. All right, now. Oh, will now that Golem still die with only one Navy Scorpion and the Caracals on him? There's got to be flights in the air. Come on. I don't know. It's flights so. Flights and missiles close. in the air. No. He's just oh. pulling back. Wow. That's going to be the ends of, the, ends of anything <laughs> in the air there. That was so close. How on earth did. Man, okay. So the Navy Scorps um, can do any damage types, so they can actually apply pretty good damage to a Golem in the Resist Hole. What may have happened is, um, we've seen this happen on golems before. It happened to Pandemic Legion in uh, AT7, I believe. Um, a golem pilot can sometimes overheat his hardeners for too long ah. and burn them out. Because that was not the tank I was expecting when you're only being hit by two Navy Scorps and three Pinnacles. <laughs> um, he's pulling back now, but still just barely. Um, I have to wonder whether his EM hardener burned out. Yeah, that's potentially a huge problem. Just catch some kinetic missiles right in the right in the yeah, right in the. Uh, well, this would sorry, be all EM missiles. Some EM missiles yeah. right in the EM hole. Because yeah, it's. I would be very very surprised if his tank was that weak normally. It's possible, but uh, golems do have a big bonus to local repping, yep. so he's going to have his own ASB. The big boost bonus. And, and then he also is going to be um, getting reps from the basilisk, so he should have been able to shrug off the damage from the Nellis kind of team. He may have accidentally instead of just like having them switch cap to him and him just running his ASB, he may have accidentally reloaded. It's possible. Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, that, that seems actually likely. That like that would have had to be part of it. I think he would have to have not had a hardener on, too, for him to go down that fast. But <laughs> A couple of mistakes very likely from Billy Pilgrim there, transmission loss. But one way or another, it actually uh, didn't kill him. Well, whatever doesn't kill him makes him stronger. Mm -hmm. So as he progresses uh, through the winner's bracket, which transmission loss will be doing, uh, He'll have learned from his mistakes and uh, perhaps be a better and brighter golem pilot in the future. Yes. Um, overheating your hardeners like that, not the kind of thing most people do twice because you get super paranoid about it next time. Or are not allowed to fit, like, yes. if you burn out your guns, you might not be allowed to fit any guns. You might just be stuck in a damnation with passive hardeners and nothing that can overheat. Though they did put Snake into, like, a harpy in this last match. Road Capel allowed the guy that burned out a Vindicator gun last year. Burned out all his Vindicator all his guns Vindicator. and lost a match because of it. Uh, wonderful move. Uh, so, as we wrap it up, only a minute left. Uh, mm -hmm. What can we talk about? Should we talk about our wonderful sponsors, Razor and uh, Alienware? You talked about them a lot. And yesterday. Eve Time Code. Well, <laughs> why not? They're great products. I love Eve Time Codes and Razor gear and Alienware computers. 
they are all pretty cool. Eve Timeco Dan is really, really awesome. She really supports the community in a lot of ways. Yep. As we wrap up here, so 45 seconds left. Uh, just a little references. So Noli Secunda, part of N3 Coalition, for those of you mm -hmm. that don't know. Control a lot of space in the drone regions and angel territory. Yep. Just recently dropped a lot of space mm -hmm. in the drone regions, angel territory. Got it right back, though. Just a, just a little blip on the radar. Just, you know, 200 systems lost. No big deal. Yeah, just need to grind a whole bunch of IHubs. Yeah, exactly. Just just get your uh, get your super capital fleet out. Go for a quick nightly outing. Grab like some nine hours. <laughs> order some Chinese food. Good to go. Uh, so this match will be wrapping up. We're gonna go ahead and take a short break, and then we're gonna have coming up, Exiled Ones versus Exodus as Nelly Secunda drops into the loser bracket mm -hmm. and Transmission Lost continues on in the undefeated bracket. We'll see them next weekend, and we'll see you in just about two minutes.